Mr. Tyler Perry. I am relentless, Aaron. And a meeting with me will create an increase in your bottom line of at least 25%. Sir, I need a meeting with you at your earliest convenience. Respectfully, hey, Mr. I'm Perry. relentless, Aaron. Relentless here. I, um, <laughs> I've been getting some feedback from the family. Not bad feedback, just like, you know this person and you know this person, so why don't you ask them to, to do the thing with you? Ah. And that there was somehow some kind of, some kind of an unfair advantage in, in who I knew. So look, that's the conversation today, unfair advantage. Sponsored by Powerade, right? Unfair advantage, guys, is me having the technology, the know-how, and the gumption to go online and find the woman of my dreams. It's unfair advantage. Some people won't do that. Some people will not dare go online and put and, and wear their, their heart on their sleeves. I did that and there was, as a result, I am over three years into the most amazing relationship of my life. Now you and I both know people that are like, oh, that's doing too much or oh, I don't do IG or I don't do TikTok or I don't do this or that. People, some people don't know how to, how to engage and that's fine, but for but us it worked. And that was an unfair advantage for us. So we're no longer single, right? Whereas I, I hear people all the time getting online, like, I'm tired of being single. I'm tired of being single. Look, stretch, reach, go the extra mile. Live from Tyler Perry Studios. Look, I've never been inside. Of course, I've seen all the footage. Of course, I have friends that have been inside, like inside on set, but I've never been inside. And yet, my unfair advantage here is not just geography, not just that I live close by. My unfair advantage is that I know how to tell a story, I know how to engage, and I know how to create a message that makes sense and that's everything. Oh. Yeah. I read the Aaron's book, Raw. How, how, did you, how did you come by my book? One of my Houston was actually working promotions for Erin. She was walking around the mall with no clothes on, and I wondered why. But when she started telling me about the books, I was like, hey, I've got to read this. When I read it, it was a mix of an Eric Strom Dickey sister soldier sort of thing that was so raw and real and talented in a way that was definitely the words jumped off the page and wrapped me up in the story to the point where I couldn't put it down until I finished all the reading that I had to do. I mean, he's dynamic, he's awesome. If you don't have his books, if you're tired of every other black author that's telling you the same story, you need his book. So you can use this information in your life, guys, for, for a woman that you want to create a relationship or a man you want to create a relationship with, for a job that you want. How bad do you want that job? I remember um, I'm sitting and squatting in Starbucks with my computers, buying their coffee, using their Wi-Fi, engaging with their, um, their client base, right? And over time, I realized uh, that I'm doing something here because people started coming, saying hi to me normally at this Starbucks. They started coming by to me, saying hi, um, asking me for things, like who are, asking me, who are you? And so they started to engage. And as a result of that, you know, I just became friends with a lot of people at not just that Starbucks, but other Starbucks. In fact, I remember specifically, there was a manager that approached me. We need you in our Starbucks. That's what they said. They literally said, we need you in our Starbucks. I mean, look, Starbucks is a big brand, right? And you all know I'm big on spillage. But what I was doing with the Starbucks brand was I was being, I was riding the tiger, right? I was using my, 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 my availability, my unfair advantage of time. I had time on my hands, right? But also I, um, I knew what I was doing. So there's an unfair advantage there, you know? Also, I could tie in my Starbucks 
allegiance with social media. That was big. Social media had just come on, been on the come up. So I, I was all in on that. And as a result, look, Starbucks hired me as a contractor. Uh, I could have take, taken that globally and used that, but I, I wasn't interested. They had me producing shows inside the Starbucks, right? For three years, comedy and jazz. And there's a whole story there, guys. Uh, but it at the end of the day, it becomes an unfair advantage that I was in Starbucks because the, the next producer or the next writer or the next entrepreneur who would like to partner with Starbucks, they were not there. They were not there in that geography. They were not there with um, the, the strategy. They were not there with the gumption that I had to make that happen. Every first Saturday at our Conyers Starbucks coffee shop, we produce a show called Comedy, Music, and Coffee for a Cause with your host, comedian C. Davis, starring the most phenomenal entertainers around. Uh, Get ready to rumble! Oh, you know we can't fit together! What's up, y'all? What's up, Starbucks? I'm gonna get that out of the way. Now, you know why they call me Wall Street, right? Because I got all these assets, baby. That's right. And I won't give up. a soup kitchen in Ghana. <laughs> what are y'all doing in here? <laughs> y'all having a meeting I don't know about? This is all right. Woo! How you doing? Oh man, old player right here, boy. You, look at him. You, <laughs> mm, this your husband? You like, mm, come on now. Don't call me out. It's like that? Two ex-wives in here? Woo! The Kanye's play over here. You better watch out, man. You're an old player, too. He probably be at the bar back in the day. He see a girl they like. He slip a piece of butterscotch. Go on, get that girl. How you feel that? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, DJ Cali, and my man, Relentless Aaron. We are here live at Starbucks in Kanye's for comedy, karaoke, and coffee for a cause. This is what we do every first Saturday of the month out here in Conyers. We are trying to make a difference in our community. For the community! This is amazing, guys. Like to see the community turn out like this. Like Wilma said, when the last family tragedy happened, um, I didn't know what to do. But my thought is, we need to do something. So to see all you guys here supporting Starbucks, supporting the Glass family, and all you guys who've been repeat, you know, returns, I, I appreciate it. This is just overwhelming. Thank you, Kelly. We have some successes in our community, folks. In the house, we have our judge, Venia Attend, elected judge. That's right, she didn't just walk into office. Um, I have Commissioner Richard Oden in the house. Thank you, sir, for coming out. This is your commissioner here at Rockville County. It's making it happen. Also in the house, 
he's my brother. We, we've been building and working, turning and twisting this monster for a minute. This man manages or has managed the Mary J. Blige tour, the Jill Scott tour. His name is Chico Chapman. I can thank y'all for coming out. Um, I've been fortunate enough to see this event um, evolve out of nothing, out of um, just the desire. You know, to help people. I'm so proud of Relentless and, and how he's poured himself out to the community. And I'm going to go ahead and mention Kelly again as well because this Starbucks is special. Um, I don't know how frequently you guys go to Starbucks throughout the country or throughout the city, but there is not another Starbucks. And I've traveled all over the country and I've been to probably two or three hundred Starbucks. There is not a Starbucks like this one. You know, so if you could please, you know, continue to support the store and this store will continue to support the community. Hey, how you doing? All right. Come on, yeah, y'all can make some more noise than that. What's up? Yeah. Um, in the city of Kanye's, I'm watching this Starbucks and I'm seeing all of my loves put together. Uh, the love of family, friends, music, jazz, wine, coffee. This is um, absolutely amazing. Um, I was in high school and um, he had a talent show. He sponsored the talent show and I won the talent show and it was one of the first times that I realized if I practiced over and over there would be a benefit to it. So not only winning a nice big trophy that I still have by the way, um, I won $500 and that went towards buying my first horn. So, the story that I pull from this is that as a community, we all have to reinvest in the potential of greatness that is right around us that we have to develop. At the end of the day, having all of those um, five levels gives me the unfair advantage. Do you understand that? And so people are saying, oh, is it going to work? Oh, Tyler Perry, woo, woo, woo. Number one, I'm ready for this. His audience is my audience. I talk about that. We align. We tell stories. I've been telling stories for decades. He's been telling stories for decades. We have different stories. And yet, his audience loves my stories. What's interesting is Tyler's um, content has evolved. He's gone from being like, you know, the sort of um, relationship, um, family type play to now he's getting gangster with it right there's cursing there's cursing and a little bit of violence in his films it's a little different these days you have to put butts in seats and so these things are necessary right so i'm not gonna rant long i don't keep these more than 10 minutes at the end of the day i want you all to know what strategic alliance is what unfair advantage is i'm going to do a post with this where I'm explaining things. Look, I'm a little chocolate boy from Mount Vernon, New York, and I earned a contract with Starbucks. I produce shows in Starbucks. The content is evergreen. You can see it online. Just just, just Google um, or, or YouTube, Starbucks, Relentless Aaron, and Jazz, or Starbucks, Relentless Aaron, and Comedy, and you'll see all the shows. We do this, that's what we do. We do it fair, we're fair, we're consistent, and, and we're gifted. And hopefully somebody out there will take something away from what I said today in terms of, um, in terms of those key points, all right? I got a phone call to make. I, I, I told you I'd keep this at 10 minutes. God bless you. Tyler Perry, I'm here. I would like to have a meeting with you. Everybody who sees this, please tag him. And Oprah. God bless.